Every year through CSR Connect and Grants Connect, your cause powers the distribution of over 600 million in donations. 98% of transactions reach their intended destination on the first disbursement attempt. We've increased the number of charities registered for ACH by 25% in 2022, meaning now 71% of transactions are distributed electronically via ACH payments. What do we mean when we say stranded funds? Well, when it comes to transacting tens of millions of charitable dollars to tens of thousands of charities every month, there will inevitably be variables that fall outside of our control. Those variables can include things like a charity that doesn't cash their check within 120 days, or a charity that loses their eligibility status due to their standing with the IRS before we disperse. In these instances, a transaction can become stranded and additional actions need to be taken to either get the transaction to its originally intended destination or ensure the appropriate allocation to another eligible charity. We divide stranded funds into two categories, stale checks and true holds. If a check has not been cashed by a charity within 120 days of being issued, it becomes a stale check. Stale checks always occur after a disbursement is made. We do our best to alert charities ahead of a check becoming stale by notifying any contacts we have on file at the 45 and 90 day mark after original issue date. Upon request from those contacts, we can reissue checks. We know that the addresses can change and we attempt to rectify the situation before a check goes stale. Unfortunately, sometimes we are not able to process a transaction to a charity and those funds become true holds. There are several reasons a transaction can become a true hold, including when a US-based charity no longer appears on the IRS Business Master File or Publication 78. This means that they are no longer to accept, able to accept charitable gifts or the charity has merged with another organization. In order to unstrand a transaction and get it to either its originally intended destination or to a new alternate charity, we have remediation processes in place. There are two distinct processes that correspond to the type of holds, the stranded funds automation feature and our quarterly manual remediation process. First, let's walk through the flow of the stranded funds automation feature. The purpose of this feature is to bring transparency to the donor by providing the ability to redirect transactions and company or foundation rewards through automation. This feature, donors who have transactions that have been dispersed via check that have gone stale receive an automated email and homepage alerts which prompt them to take action. The donor is given 14 calendar days to take ownership and redirect their transaction before default automation settings take place. As a note, this feature only applies to US-based transactions, not those processed by our global processing partners. The stranded funds automation feature is typically set up as a part of your implementation process, or you can work with your customer success manager. So how does this process work? Well, once a check reaches 90 days from the original issue date, an email is sent to the donor who made the transaction and the charity to whom the check was made out to. If the check reaches 120 days without being deposited, the bank will confirm that the check is void and the transaction moves into the redirect process. If the stranded funds automation feature is not active, then the transaction will be resolved through the quarterly ma manual re remediation process, uh, which we will discuss in a moment. If the stranded funds automation feature is active, an email is sent to the donor notifying them that they have two weeks to take action. At this time, the donor can choose to redirect or reissue the funds. If the donor takes no action, then a second email is sent. If the donor does not respond, or if the reissued funds go stale again, your cause will auto-redirect the transaction to an alternate charity chosen as a default by the client. Next, we will look into the quarterly manual remediation process. Once a quarter, BlackBot's global payments team conducts stranded funds outreach to donors who have outstanding transactions that have been marked as true holds. Through this outreach, donors are given the opportunity to redirect their transactions. Since true holds involve charities that have lost eligibility status for one reason or another, 
donors must select an alternate charity to redirect their transaction to and cannot reissue the transaction to the originally selected charity. In these scenarios, donors are only given the opportunity to redirect their personal dollars. This means if the transaction originally had any company dollars associated with it, such as a matching gift, those company dollars are automatically redirected to the default alternate charity on file. Once a month, the processing team releases transactions for disbursement for true holds where the charity has become eligible again. This includes both employee dollars and company dollars.